So I want to give you some hints for dealing with the analysis portion here a little bit. So one of the, the deals is the, um, the typing, <laughs> the typing of answers. And there's a couple ways you can go. So you can go, you know, okay, here's one A type, you know, blah, blah, blah. Here's one B type, etc. And a lot of my students just didn't like that. They, they found it cumbersome. Um, the cells get funky and don't like dealing with it. So you can use that. Or you could try the insert text box thing. And then it turns, look, look, when I move it down here, it turns into this kind of plus sword thing. And then I can play with it. And I can say, oops, one A, you know, answer, B, answer, C, answer, D, answer. And that's a little bit easier for typing because it types more like you're used to you know, in word or something like that and you can fiddle with the size of the boxes as you can see so for example if i type 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 and i type so much or so little i can shrink the box to fit what i need by moving my mouse to the corners and shif shifting it around all right so there's that then um the next thing it talks about it wants me to find the highest infant mortality and highlight in red all right, this is where I led you sort of astray. So it pays to watch these later videos. Um, you want to delete this column right here. So um, I, I did it originally to make things better for you, but it actually makes things worse. So take this middle column that's that's empty and just go up to it and right click and delete. Oopsie, not insert, delete. There you go. Now it's gone. And that smacks them all up against each other, I know, but um, it's better. So what I did here was I clicked on the infant mortality column, which is column B. I, I clicked up so that I was by the downward arrow by the letter B. So it highlights the whole column. And then I go to data. And I wanted highest to lowest, so I clicked Z to A. It said, do you want to expand? I said, yep. And it came up with Afghanistan on the top. And then I highlight those values all up there. And I go to home. And I go to the paint bucket. And I pick the red color. Okay. Um, then the next thing it asks you to do, you know, and then you answer some questions. So what country, blah, 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 interpret, which is really, you know, me trying to get at, you know, do you know what those numbers are standing for? What do they really mean? Well, you know, how do, what is this value saying about the country of Afghanistan or whatever country you have for your data set? Okay. So then you go back to the analysis tab. I couldn't remember what I was doing there. And you could insert a second text box right here and type 2 a answer or whatever you can do periods you can do parentheses whatever blah 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 and you can type there okay all right then for number three I want you to highlight the highest life expectancy in green so what you do then is you go back to the data tab you go to the life expectancy column this time. So click on life expectancy. And I want the highest value. So I go to data. And again, pick the Z to A button. You want largest. So Z to A. Expand. Sure. Sort. All right. And because I deleted that column in the middle, see, Afghanistan stuck together like that, like glue. If you had that empty column in the center, it wouldn't have done it. It was a giant pain. So I'm sorry about that. So for me, it was Japan. And I would highlight. I go to home pick the paint bucket green pick whichever green you like dark green light green heck you can muck around with different color greens knock yourself out have a grand time I'll pick that one looks Christmasy okay so that's how what I mean when I say highlight the row I really mean highlight those values in that row um, make sure that there's no empty column in between all right then um, for these values, right, you should know what a lot of these are. The one thing I want to give you a hint on is this thing right here. You should be finding that in a cell in Excel over here. So you see R squared is right here, 0.8536. Notice um, for that one, you're going to need R, which is not R squared. So you're going to need equals SQRT parentheses of your R squared value, right? So that's the beginnings of how you find R. I'm just going to give you a warning right now. You need to think about it a little bit more. It's not just the square root. There's something else going on here. So ponder that. Look back in your notes. Look back in, in your information in the book on that stuff. But at the very least, you're going to have to take the square root of your R squared and then do a little bit more with it. Okay? Just as a warning. But you want to do it in Excel over here in a cell, and then you can type your answer in a text box.